All right, you guys, it is time for another cozy little chit chat. I feel like I haven't had like a heart to heart type of chit chat with you guys in a while. And maybe I have, I don't know. I feel like I'm just like making so many videos lately that it's like just getting jumbled in my mind about what I've made recently. But something's been on my mind that I wanted to sit down and have a little chit chat with you guys about. And that is the topic of dealing with rejection, criticism, blocking out the haters, and kind of everything along those lines. I know that this is something that a lot of people deal with and go through, and this is something that has been like so prevalent to me this year in 2023, as I've been navigating all of the stresses of life this year. From getting laid off, which is kind of one of the most ultimate forms of rejection, to then applying for hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of jobs. Like, I mean, if you guys have been sticking around on my channel and watching my updates on unemployment and job searching and all of that you know that I have applied to over like 400 jobs this year and I have obviously not gotten a single job offer from any of those so dealing with a lot of rejection there to things like starting a YouTube channel and dealing with criticism and haters on YouTube as well like you know starting a YouTube channel or any sort of business comes with accepting criticism I have had people tell me that you know having a YouTube channel is not a real job or that you know I'm not gonna be able to make it on YouTube. I'm not going to be able to stand out enough to make like a significant source of income and that I should still be, you know, looking for work outside of this. I've also had, you know, people commenting on my videos, not very nice things, things about the way that I talk, that I say like too much, I talk like a valley girl, or people saying, granted, I have since fixed this, but that I'm bad at looking directly into the camera, looking into the lens, and that's just something I'm working on and trying to learn and work through. But having a YouTube channel, putting yourself out there just opens yourself up to criticism and people judging you so I've had to deal with this a lot this year and I figured we should just sit down and have a little chit chat about it and I could maybe lend some advice if anybody out there is dealing with something like this right now as well so I guess the first thing I have to say is that you have to accept the fact that you are not going to please everyone you need to let go of the fact that you can find a way to appeal to everyone because at the end of the day that is just not possible I think this is something that I have really had to learn with my YouTube channel by trying to kind of dive into a bunch of different niches. I have people saying that they don't like my financial wellness videos or I have people saying that they don't like my health and fitness videos and I am really trying to accept the fact that it has to be about what I want and what makes me happy and I have to accept that I am not going to please everyone. I just need to do ultimately like what is best for me. I think that this is true in like every aspect of life whether it's like with work or with people that you're trying to meet and friends you're trying to make. You have to accept that you are a unique person and you have your own personality and therefore like not everyone is going to jive with you not everyone is going to like the way that you are and that is totally okay and the sooner that you can accept that the sooner you can move past this fear of rejection or fear of getting criticism from others because at the end of the day if you're putting yourself out there if you're trying new things you are going to get criticism and you are going to get rejected from time to time all right the next little tidbit of advice i wanted to share is to know your worth i think it is so important important to be so strong and connected to who you are to know your value and this is why I do a lot of things like writing down gratitude lists journaling to reflect on things that are happening maybe things that frustrated me I like to write down affirmations when I'm doing my journaling from time to time sometimes I like to say affirmations out loud because it really just helps reinforce me knowing who I am so you know when I do get inevitably get you know meme comments on my YouTube channel or things like that I am basically working on kind of building up a thicker skin Skin to say like okay this person doesn't actually know me they've never met me in real life like they know nothing about me so whatever like whatever they think just doesn't matter it doesn't affect me internally because I know that I am a strong person I know that I'm beautiful I know that I have important things to say to the world I know that I don't talk like a valley girl and <laughs> I know that you know I am making the best decisions for me so I recommend just in the times that you are feeling good and not dealing with rejection and criticism take the time to be build up your self-confidence, whether that be practicing affirmations or changing the way you talk to yourself from negative self-talk to more positive self-talk, writing down gratitude lists and finding your value, that's going to just really set you up for success when inevitably somebody does reject you, criticize you, or say mean things to you. The next thing I want to say is something that 
I have definitely really had to learn this year with my YouTube channel, which is that you should be okay with validating your feelings. What I mean by this is that it's okay to feel upset or hurt when you do get rejected or when you do get criticized or when you do get you know mean comments or things like that. I think it was really hard for me when I first started my YouTube channel that I would get you know a mean comment on a video and I would be like, you know what, this person doesn't even know me and I would get really upset about it and it was really new for me at the time you know I'd only had a YouTube channel for like three or four months I remember I think it was like the valley girl comment saying that I talk like a valley girl or something like that and I was kind of like genuinely hurt by that going back to the last thing of course like at that point I don't think I had really built up this thicker skin that I have now to kind of ignore rude comments on my videos but at the time like I was upset by it and I think you just really have to be like it's okay to be upset by the mean things that people say or when people do criticize you on decisions you're making or when you get rejected by a job like that that sucks or if you get dumped that sucks or if you get laid off or fired that sucks like these things happen and it's okay to be upset about them I think that by learning to validate my feelings and be okay with them has really helped me just kind of work through some of the rejection criticism and rude comments that I have sometimes gotten on my videos learn how to validate your feelings find a person that you can confide in that will let you validate maybe with them say like here's why I'm upset I just want to like vent to you and and a person that will say like, yeah, I get it and that sucks. My next tip on dealing with rejection and criticism is to actually sometimes learn from the criticism, learn from the rejection. I don't think you need to learn from haters out there and they're just like rude comments and stuff, but there is something to be learned from constructive criticism. I think sometimes it can be really hard for me with my YouTube channel because it's something I'm really passionate about. It's something I use my creative mind on. And so when somebody's critical about my video, style of my videos, things like that, I can sometimes take it really personally but there's also sometimes maybe something to be learned and some value that I can take out of the criticism or feedback that I'm sometimes getting from people of course like there's times when I'm asking openly for people's feedback you know things like types of videos they want me to make or things like that but other times you know I have people commenting things that I wasn't really you know wanting their feedback on example <laughs> with my side hustles video that kind of popped off that was kind of towards the beginning of me starting my YouTube channel I posted that video in May but that point I had only been making videos for like four or five months and at the time I did not realize that I was like not looking in the lens and I was looking at the screen over here at myself I didn't even realize I was doing it and on that video I have probably had like at least 10 to 20 people comment on the fact that I'm not looking at the lens of the camera so this is something that I was like okay I get it thank you thank you I get it I will work on that and it's something I'm still working on to this day because it's really just a habit to kind of like look over at yourself but it was a criticism and it's something that I was like okay you're right like I can improve this and that will make me a better youtuber <laughs> for sure but people commenting things like the way that I talk or if I talk too fast or something like that like that's just that's not really something that I need to worry about but my point is that sometimes feedback can actually be helpful it can be constructive and to sometimes be open to accepting the feedback to learning from it and yes sometimes it might hurt or sting at first when somebody initially gives you feedback that you maybe didn't want to hear or feel was valid but if you take some time to reflect on it you might find that there's actually some truth to it and some things that you can learn to improve yourself with that feedback okay my fifth tip for you guys for kind of managing criticism rejection and the haters is to just be persistent at the end of the day you really can't let the haters the criticizers the rejectors get you down if I stopped making YouTube videos after the first comment I got about the way that I talk that I talk like a valley girl that I say like too much by the way I think that was on a video I had posted in maybe like February or March so if I had stopped making videos based on that one comment I would not be where I am today where I have over 10,000 YouTube subscribers and I'm getting thousands of views on my videos I never would have had made that video that ended up popping off and making my YouTube channel what it is today so you really just have to be persistent regardless of what the haters say regardless of the criticism you receive or regardless of getting rejected. If you got laid off like me and your goal is to find a new job, you can't just stop looking for work after your first rejection, after your first no, because you're gonna apply to 100 jobs, you're gonna get 90 no's, maybe 10 interviews, and maybe one job offer. So you must be persistent if the thing that you're going after is something that you're truly passionate about. And by the way, just because somebody has something negative to say, for example, YouTube channel is not a viable source of income, prove them freaking wrong. Go out there and prove them wrong 
wrong because majority of the time your haters are only going to be judging you and hating you until you make it until you prove them wrong and then they're gonna be jealous and want to know how to do the things that you've done like starting a YouTube channel successfully or starting a side business successfully or building your own you know rental property portfolio like people are gonna want to know how to do that because they're gonna want that too so be persistent do not give up on your dreams and just ignore the haters that was a short and sweet one you guys I just wanted to have like a little heart to heart because like I said I have dealt with so many negative comments and haters this year and I hope that 2024 is a year of much more positivity on my videos and positivity on my channel I definitely do think that because my channel was smaller like I was all arguably like an easier target for random people on the internet to leave negative comments because I do genuinely feel now that I'm a little bit bigger and I have more kind comments on my videos like it almost seems like the internet trolls out there aren't as willing to comment on people who have like so many positive comments on their videos but also on my like viral side hustles video like because it just has seen you know 500,000 views or whatever like at that point I'm like yeah when it has 500,000 views it's inevitably gonna get some negative comments and that's fine so I think it always has been like on these videos that only get you know 500 views I'm like who's going out of their way to find this video with only 500 views and to leave a negative comment on it like that's the part that I don't get so I just think it's funny and it's something that I've been really dealing with this year but I personally feel like I've been able to build such a thick skin this year and really like practice knowing my value building my confidence and all of those things so I just wanted to share that with you guys today in case anybody out there is dealing with rejection dealing with some criticism dealing with some haters whatever it might be that you're dealing with that but just know that you're not alone and know that you are a freaking badass and nobody should take away your shine so anyways that's it you guys I hope you enjoyed this short and sweet video and I always love having cozy little chit chats with you but that's it I will catch up with you next time